Sharana Williams pair of weight. Hi, Michael. How are you doing today? I am doing great. How are you doing? I am doing well, I'm doing fantastic, but I am sleep deprived because I watched a movie last night. So I have not had a good night's sleep at all. Thanks to you, but it's okay. I'm not going to hold it against you. Um, I remember speaking to you at South by Southwest and you said you were headed to my city to film uh, The Conjuring 3 and you knocked this out of the park. Congratulations, you've done such a fantastic job. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, we had a blast shooting it. I mean, I'm so proud of the uh, of the film and just uh, the results. And it is so good to see you again. I, I can't believe it's, it feels like, you know, both a, a lifetime and also yesterday that I just saw you. <laughs> you know, one of the things that I love about this film is that it stays within the Conjuring universe, but you mesh so many different genres. Um, you have a love story. You have kind of like, I felt like I was watching Law and Order. I need to figure out who, who's behind this. How was it mixing so many genres, but still keeping the heart of what we love about the Conjuring films? You know, I think I, it's, I come at it as a fan. You know, I love these films. Um, I love the world that James has created. So, you know, from the very beginning, even though this is a really exciting departure for, you know, for the Warrens, I, I wanted to really keep it true to what is the Conjuring experience. So, I mean, I think that that was always something that, you know, we were trying to navigate as we went through it. But, you know, I think, as you said, you know, this is a movie that is, you know, at its core, it's filled with surprises. There is a mystery, you know, underneath it. Um, and also, I think just the, the surprise of sometimes the type of movie that you're seeing, you know, was is really exciting. And I think that, you know, even if you assume what the, what the movie is going to be about and you, you assume what the journey is going to be, I think that there's it, it has a really interesting way of kind of, uh, you know, kind of turning those on its head. Um, but yeah, very excited for for fans to see it. Um, but but also too with with the heart behind it, it really um, makes you see the world in a different way, and that's what we've seen as we've expanded into the Conjuring universe. But I want to know specifically for you, Michael, how have you seen the world differently now that we shed a light um, on the deeper parts of this horror genre? Yeah, I think I think you touched on something that really was at the core of what. Um, you know, what I was thinking about when, when I was making the movie, you know, about the, you know, what you said earlier about the love story, but then, you know, also, um, you know, shining the light on, you know, what is, you know, what is the truth of this? What is the, you know, what's really behind, you know, this, this case. And, you know, I think what's exciting, I think with, with any of these true stories or these supernatural, uh, true stories, you're always wondering, you know, how much is real, how much is not. I grew up Catholic, but I'm also a skeptic. Um, and I think that, you know, with this, because it is such, you know, this isn't, you know, this is a story with a real victim and this is a story that, that really is, you know, is very dark. It's, it's without a doubt, it's their darkest case. And so all of a sudden, you know, that thought experiment about, you know, do I believe this? Do I not? It really, you know, whether or not you choose to believe it, you know, really takes, you know, a new level of importance and a new, a new weight, um, because we are talking about a murder, because we're talking about a man's life. And so, you know, I think that, you know, in that, you know, bringing it back to the love story, I think that, you know, these are always stories of, of, of love and faith. And I think that that's kind of what makes these movies so surprising. And I think it brings people back to them. And, you know, the assumption is that whenever we're talking about faith, we're talking about God. And I think what was powerful about this is that, you know, faith can also be just the faith that we put in other people. And, you know, whether we choose to believe them and the people that, you know, we choose to spend our, our lives with, that's the, you know, sometimes the, the greatest act of faith. And, you know, back to your, you know, your story, your, your point of, you know, the love story hidden within it. I think that there is, you know, a really powerful story, you know, you know, we've seen the Warrens before and this is, this puts them front and center and it really puts their, their love to test and, um, and, uh, the same thing with, you know, Arnie and, and his girlfriend, Debbie. So, yeah. Michael, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. I appreciate it. Thank you for my sleep deprivation. It was well worth it. <laughs> I just want to tell you congratulations again. I can't wait for everyone to see this and I hope you have a great rest of your day. You too. It was so great seeing you again. Thank you so much, Michael. Take care.